What's good YouTube? Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. This is TJK Creative. I am Tyler and today this is a requested video and the next video you'll be seeing is also heavily requested. This would be how to make a data set for training your custom model. Training the model will be a different video. This is just for making the data set and this should be a fairly quick video. Easy, simple things. This is honestly not that hard of a thing to do but steps are still required so let's get into this video again make sure to hit that subscribe button hit the like button get in the comments if you need help join the discord where there's a whole ai section everything you're gonna need is there everything and more all right let's get into this so first things first in general you're gonna want to get the cleanest audio possible whether it's from an artist or an actor just whatever voice you want has to be as clean as possible that you can get and <clears throat> from whatever source uh here i'm going to show you how to use a movie basically and separate the channels and get the voice out of a movie and then after that i'm just going to show you basically the necessary steps to kind of clean up the file or how to structure it so you're going to need audacity or any well, you need Audacity for the movie, splitting the channels up, but you can use any music program, any program that can chop audio audio files up and, you know, sync them together. You can use really anything for that. But when it comes to using 5.1 audio to get movies or whatever, if you want to get an actor's voice from a movie, you're going to want to get Audacity. And then just drag your movie into the Audacity program and it will look like this. These are all the channels for the movie. Usually it's this middle channel that I'm not going to play any audio either because there's, you know, I don't want to get any copyrights. But a woman is missing. Oh, played some audio. But usually it's this middle channel. And it started playing again. Usually it's this middle channel, so we will clear out all of these. And then you'll have this. And usually still the middle channel with the voice still has music or effects in the background but it's you know still mostly the voice and a couple of the effects that come through the center channel and to offset that you'll need this program called goyo which is free and then you come in here and you basically just s set this all the way down to zero for the ambience which will cut out all the music or special effects and it'll just leave the voice if you want the voice to be louder, you can play with this, make it louder, but sometimes it'll get red because that means it's it's a little too loud and it'll start to distort. And then over here on the voice reverb, if you're, let's say the actor has, you know, reverb on his voice or this is a musician, you got the acapella for the artist, you can, and they have reverb on their voice, you can turn it down and it'll offset and take away reverb. This tool right here is amazing. I recommend this to anybody. It's AI powered as well. Goyo has been a lifesaver in a lot of situations for people, especially if you're trying to get 5.1 audio or just even play around with it. I've never used this to separate from music. I still use other, you know, UVR or uh, anything else, you know, web, web website based to separate music uh instrumental to voice but this still might work for that but i still would use the separate it another way and then if you need more uh removing then come to this and turn the ambience down turn the reverb down whatever it is turn the voice up this is a great tool and after you do that you can just save the file and this next part just chopping up the audio uh whether it was the movie file i just kind of showed you or you just got podcasts you know file or whatever you got uh i usually go back to mixcraft you could still use audacity to do this part but usually i'm on mixcraft <clears throat> right here the only thing you want to do is just cut out all the silent spots when you're making a data set so let's say there's that i'm also not going to play any audio because this is copyrighted but you would uh just you know and then say there's that whole silent spot you would just come here now just make sure it's all together 
and then you're like, oh, there's another silent spot. That's all you're doing, really. This is probably, this is going to take up most of your time unless training is slow for you. But this would probably, finding and making the data set probably is the longest uh, part of the whole situation. You'll just do this until you get up to at least 10 minutes, I suggest. Most, like, that's what we all suggest, 10 minutes of a data set. So you do that all the way up until here. Sometimes, let's say you have seven minutes, maybe you can, I don't recommend it specifically but you could then duplicate you know some of this and then drag and make and then maybe it'll reach the 10 minutes but you want as much variation different variation different uh words whatever it is you just want as much variation as possible inside of your data set that's going to get you your best model but yeah that's all you do here i've seen other programs automatically cut but all the silence out but that they don't work good in my opinion it causes the model to sound weird. And you, that's all you do. You make your data set. I'm not doing a perfect job because like, I'm just trying to show you. You just cut out all the silent spots and you'll be able to play it and hear how it sounds. And you'll play it back. You don't have to play the whole thing back to yourself. But you'll know what it sounds like. And then, again, if you need to cut out any extra background noise that still might have lingered, come into the Goyo. And... You can fix it up there. After you're done doing this, you can save it to a WAV file. I recommend saving the data set to a WAV file. And after you save your data set to a WAV file, you're pretty you're done. You're done with uh, making your data set. You have completed the task. Now you can move on to the next video. That would be how to train and make a model. How to train your data set, data set and make a model. So I suggest going to that video. There should be a comment, a pinned comment in this comment section after that video goes live. If this goes live first, before I even make that video, then you won't see it until that video has gone live. But, and if it hasn't gone live, be on the lookout, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. You'll see when the video comes. Thank you for watching. Again, join the Discord if you want to get in, uh, have any questions that you want to ask personally, um, or help or anything, or you want to find more AI uh, technology, basically any any other uses or whatever, voice models, come to the Discord. There's a whole AI section just for you. And yeah, just a guy with a camera and a mic. And I'm out.